Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and today I have very exciting news. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button because the iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak is going to be released within just a few days. We've heard official word from Coolstar and the Electra team and we now have a loose or a rough ETA for its release date. So be sure to click that subscribe button down below next to the channel name and ding that notification bell so you're informed the very second a new jailbreak is released or going to have first coverage. Now, having said that, I just wanted to preface before getting into this video that it is 5.55 a.m. right now, but I couldn't resist pushing this out to you guys because this is the best jailbreak-related news that we've had, really. So these tweets started at about 12 a.m. Pacific time, so 12 a.m. my time, from the Electra team. They sent out, quote, remount for 11.3.1 is complete. Jailbreak will be dropping within a few days. Now, as many of you know, the iOS 11.3.x file system remount is the final stage of the jailbreak puzzle. That was the last thing that we were waiting for prior to the jailbreak being released. So that's absolutely incredible news. They then followed it up with, we are not using Spark's bypass as it was unstable. We are using our own APFS or Apple file system bypass. Now it's unclear whether or not they had to burn the zero day exploit that we've talked about several times throughout our update videos. We'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully not though, because that will mean a quicker jailbreak the next time around for iOS 12 because this is likely the last iOS 11 jailbreak. And then it just goes into a few tweets from Coolstar discussing supported devices and also donations. He says, quote, Electra will support all iOS devices on 11.2 through 11.3.1. And then he has this little exception right here that says, except for specific devices owned by one guy who pissed me off three days. You know who who you are. So the takeaway from that is that again, all devices are supported on firmwares ranging from 11.2 to 11.3.1. So if you're on any firmware that falls within that range, you will be covered for this jailbreak. Then he said, donations do not mean you're purchasing the jailbreak. Asking for a refund for sure is one way to get banned. Don't bother donating if you're going to ask for a refund. And then he's saying, yes, he's specifically calling out that one guy who he mentioned in the previous tweet. And then for the final tweet, he says, quote, been using stock iOS on my daily iPhone 10 since I got it a month ago. Can't wait to see what it's like jailbroken as I was saving testing on my 10 for the final versions of Electra iPad Pro was the testing device throughout the development. So some awesome stuff. Again, I'm super pumped to test out this jailbreak for myself. We will have complete and first coverage for you guys. And one last thing I want to get into really quick before wrapping up, I just want to show you guys the Electra page on Coolstar's website. It now says right here at the bottom, countdown timer and it gives a little indication of the current stage that they're working on. It looks like it's so close to dropping guys. Remember he did say that it was going to be pushed out just within a few days. So that's absolutely epic information. And for those of you who want a real time status checker as to whether the jailbreaks released, it will be linked in your cards right now as well as down below in the description on best tech info. When you go to this URL immediately, you'll notice it states whether or not the jailbreak has been released. I highly recommend utilizing this resource because it is auto updating so that way you guys will know when the jailbreaks released and download links will be featured there as well as here on the channel. So I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you're as pumped for the jailbreak as I am. I'm going to push this video out to you guys and hopefully pass out. So until next time, this is ACU signing out.